Disclaimer ahead. This video showcases epoxy resin. Epoxy resin deals with chemical reactions that can be potentially harmful and therefore should be handled by adults. Hence, this video is not geared towards children. Hey guys, it's Lexi here and I'm going to make a jelly bean Furby. These jelly beans were brought to you by my mother, so shout out to Mama Kay for sponsoring this video. I'm just taking out the black jelly beans because I want this to be a very colorful Furby. Lovely. Now we're going to pour equal parts A and part B of epoxy resin and mix together thoroughly. Going to use a jumbo crafting stick to mix. Make sure to scrape along the sides of the cup and the bottom. Next, I'm pouring in just a little bit of glitter, little bits of pastel glitter colors. Not enough to overpower like my last Furby. Lessons were learned. Next, I'm trying to show how I pour the resin into the ear cavities first. Make sure they're nice and full before adding jelly beans. This Furby is really a redemption from my Valentine's Furby where I didn't really know what I was doing at first and I just poured everything in, didn't disperse equal colors of candy. So there was a lot of white and a lot of yellow hearts in that Furby. So here I am trying to do a better job by dispersing the colors nicely and making sure to do resin layers instead of just pouring all the resin in at the beginning. And the glitter gives it a nice shine, I think. Getting all those air bubbles out by bumping them to the top and then a nice layer of resin on top. And here he is, the colorful boy. So cute. Now we're going to take watered down acrylic paint. I like to do about a half and half proportion of water to paint. And we're going to color on the whites of his eyes. Going to build that up, letting the layers dry in between. And I believe I did three or four layers to really make it opaque. Now, in between the layers of the whites of his eyes, I worked on his beak. I wanted to work up a white base coat so that the color of paint I was going to use for the beak will have a nice base to stick on and will show up really well. The paint job for this Furby is going to be relatively simple because of all the color he has going on inside of him. Oh, and if you saw my new angle of camera, I'm trying a new technique, so I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Although because it is new, it's hard to get centered, so sorry for that in advance. <laughs> and here he is. I'm putting orange on for the beak because I was trying to go for a duckling chickadee vibe. Because this is an Easter Furby to me and the jelly beans and chickadees and ducklings, they just scream Easter and I was very happy with how it came out. A very nostalgic Furby for me, I feel. And here he is. Now we're going to go with the eyes. Oh boy. Hey, that's a face. <laughs> this angle is really fun for the face up. I chose a dark blue color. 
for the eyes. I was really inspired by the narrator of that stop motion for Peter Cottontail, the bright blue eyes. So I wanted to bring this Furby bright blue eyes as well. Plus there weren't any blue jelly beans, so I figured the blue color would stand out. And after a few layers, they became opaque. Next, we're going to work on the eyelashes. I chose white eyelashes because I wanted them to stand out with all the color going on behind them. And just daubed on some triangular shapes and then went back in with the toothpick once the paint had dried to really form nice eyelashes. Next up, I wanted to bring out brightness in the eyes, so I made a lighter shade of the blue I used to make sort of a two-toned look to the eyes that I was wanting to give him without making a, another boring circle within a circle. So I figured I would make it shaped like a jelly bean because I thought that would look really cute. Jelly bean Furby, jelly bean eyes turned out to look more like macaroni noodles to me. They also kind of remind me of the Pokemon symbol on the character hats. That Pokemon trainer hat has the symbol, you know? I don't know. And then I touched it up a bit, and that took a while, but I liked how it turned out. Ta-da! Now that the beak was dry, I was going to add some details of yellow paint. They kind of look like nostrils, like I guess they're nostrils, I don't know. It made me think of chickadees. Now we're going to add the whites to his eyes. Out of frame, I'm sorry. New camera angle. Again, I wanted to try to keep it simple, just went with what I was feeling. And I felt, you know, jelly bean eye, Easter egg boy. I'm gonna try to make egg-shaped eye shines. How hard could it be to make a perfect oval, huh? Apparently very hard, I went back and forth on it. Back and forth, back and forth. Until I felt that it looked right. Then I just added some additional ones, eye shines, to make it look cute. And then I wanted to bring out that blue noodle <laughs> so why not but overall i think he looks cute next up it's hair time i brushed off some yarn wefts off camera grab your glue wall 
and dab on some glue to the top of his head and press some yarn floofs against it. And then I dabbed on glue on top several times until it just felt like it would stick well. I even used a toothpick in to glob on some glue for the second weft apparently. <laughs> and just keep on adding that glue until you feel like it'll stick and not pull up with your paintbrush. There's the toothpick. And then once I'm satisfied, I'm going to let the hair wefts dry overnight. And then it's time for a haircut. His hair seemed too long. I wanted to make it short and floofy, like the little fluff on a chickadee's head or a duckling's head. So I just go around and shape it to look more Furby-esque as well. Until I'm satisfied with the length and shape. There we go. To make him even more floofy, I brought out different hairbrushes while holding down on his quote unquote roots, I suppose. I used little brushes to make the yarn even more floofy. But be careful and gentle so that the yarn doesn't pull off of the Furby. And here he is. He's so cute and adorable. And I named him Jelly Belly because, well, you see. I hope you have a great Easter. Thanks for watching. Bye!